penduka my name is Anna Mudeka and I'm a musician, singer, dancer and theatre maker from a musical family in Zimbabwe. I now live here in Norfolk where I share the music that I grew up with with many people from all walks of life. Some songs have a very deep, powerful meaning which stays with us forever. Such as that about King Lobengula. This song is from a time when everything changed for our nation in Zimbabwe. At the age of 14, I joined Idwala Elikolo dance troupe and we learned songs from different tribes in Zimbabwe, including the song about King Lobengula. <laughs> Most of the king's personal history is not known, but his father, King Muzilika's story, was told far and wide. King Lobengula's legacy was destroyed by the European colonials, so we learn something about colonization. We know King Lobengula was a descendant of the Kumalo dynasty, a ruler from a long line of kings. He trusted the Europeans and even made friends, including one Thomas Baines. In his letter to King Lobengula, he wrote, I have to acknowledge with much pleasure your Majesty's kind message and assurances of confirmed friendship, which I have received during the early part of this year. I shall try to reach Matabililand in June, but if I should unfortunately be delayed a little longer, I hope you will believe that I am making every effort in my power and that my heart is grateful to you for the kindness you have shown me and is still fixed to return and to continue the friendly relation which has subsisted between us in Matabililand. Your Majesty's most obedient servant, T. Baines. We should bear in mind that like many of the other colonials, Baines had his own interest. King Lobengula's sympathy of the Europeans eventually led to the Matabele Kingdom's downfall. The king was tricked into signing over his territories to Cecil John Rhodes. The colonials didn't want people to remember him as a powerful, intelligent and respected king. They went even further. They took his children and exiled them to South Africa. There was a lot of rewriting of the Ndebele's history from King Lobengula's time. European colonials displaced King Lobengula's family, his status and his wealth. Over the years in Bulawayo, the Ndebele people have held many festivals to commemorate the Battle of Kadade, which is where King Lobengula was last seen. And in Zimbabwe, the second Monday in August is National Heroes Day, where we remember and honor those who gave their lives for our freedom in the First and Second Chimurenga War. More prominence has been given to those who perished in the Second Chimurenga War. As a nation, we must remember and give the same prominence to those who sacrificed their lives in the First Chimurenga War as well. Amongst them, Lozike Injonjo, Sekuru Kaguvi, Lobengula Kumalo, Mbuyane Handa, Tinotenda, Siabonga. We thank you. And now, we tell our history. King Lobengula's name lives on. Amanja!